guys, it's Itech of a Week, and today I want to announce the iTunes match was released along with iTunes 10.5.1. Uh, if you want to go ahead and download iTunes 10.5.1 uh, for iTunes match, if you plan on using that, I want to give it a, a try. Uh, it is only $25 a year, so it's definitely a cheap price. Uh, but you just go ahead and go to the Apple website, click on iTunes, go to free download, and then you go ahead and click download now uh, right there. And I actually already got it downloaded right here uh, from the website. So just go ahead and install that. And once you get installed, you'll be able to use iTunes Match. Now, for those of you who are not sure what iTunes Match is or are wondering what it is or whatever, uh, if you go to the Apple website and go to iTunes, uh, then you go over here, go ahead and click Learn More underneath uh, iTunes in the cloud and iTunes Match. So once it's loaded up in your page, if you scroll down, you can see right here, this is a match made in iCloud. And right here, it describes what iTunes Match is. So right here, um, for 25 bucks a year, it lets you play back all the songs in your library and stream them to your device. And the reason you want to do this is, well, first of all, if your song is lower than 256 kilobits a second, it'll play it back at 256, uh, so you'll get uh, way better quality than what you have. And I'll give you an example of that later. Uh, but the main point of it is, because it streams it to your device, you're not storing the songs on your device. Uh, you're actually streaming them to your device, so that'll save up a lot of space on your device, so you don't have to sync all of your music. Uh, to your iPod or whatever you have, it, it'll stream it to it. Uh, so that may be better in your case. Um, if you're using an iPod and you don't have like 3G internet or whatever, and you don't have Wi-Fi all the time, then this may be bad for you because you do have to have an internet connection to stream it to your device. Uh, but if you have internet handy all the time and you pretty much got a Wi-Fi connection or something in your area, uh, you always have your music right there. So it may be better to use iTunes Match. And that way you don't have to buy a device with more uh, gigabytes because you're streaming on your music, and I have like 12 gigs in music uh, per so that'll definitely save up a lot of space on my device, and I can probably even downgrade down to the, the next lower device in gigabytes, uh, and I could save a lot of money there. Uh, but that's not all it does. If we go back to Safari here, I'll just read through this paragraph. Uh, it says it determines which songs in your collection are available in iTunes Store. So it'll automatically add the songs to iCloud, and be able to listen to that song at any time. Now, it does say any time, so now I'm trying to figure out exactly how this is working. Uh, it may actually work a little bit differently than I've been telling you guys. It actually might store, I think it might store them on your device actually, but just at a lower bit rate. So it'll take up less space, I believe at least. So it either takes up no space or less space. I, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure on that. Um, and I, I'm actually starting to think it's less space because uh, I actually tried this before and it used like 12 gigs of my music that I stored it to my device. Uh, and then I think it went down to like 5 or something like that, so it uses less space or something like that. I'm not exactly sure anymore. But it is only 25 bucks a year, uh, so it is like, it's like a one-time payment. Like if I paid right now, you pay 25 bucks right now. You, it's, it's not spread out throughout the year. It's not spread out like you pay a certain amount every month. You pay 25 bucks at, at one point every year. So it matches the song with the, with the songs in the iTunes store, and then it makes them available to listen to at any time on your device. Uh, and then they say there's 20 million songs in the iTunes store, so most likely music is in there. But for the songs that aren't matched, uh, iTunes will upload them to iCloud, and then you can also stream those to your device. Since it says uh, once music is in iCloud, you can stream and store to any of your devices. So now, uh, this is where I'm curious. So apparently, if you don't have internet connection anywhere, you can go ahead and store it to your device if you choose to do that. Uh, so it may not save you space, uh, but it just it may give you better quality songs. So if like your songs at 128, like I just showed you guys. Uh, it'll play back at 256, uh, so it'll get you better quality that way. Uh, but if you do have internet connection available, I believe you can stream it, and then uh, it won't take up any space on your device. Uh, so that's what iTunes matches. Uh, I kind of gave you the main uh, gist of it, but I couldn't explain it perfectly. I'm not exactly sure how it works yet. I'm not very familiar with the, uh, the service yet, uh, but you kind of get the main point of it. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and give it a shot. It's only 25 bucks a year, so it's definitely affordable. And if you're currently using uh, Spotify, which I'm sure most of you are, are familiar with, Spotify, you can stream your songs to your device. Uh, so if you're using that, so if you're using Spotify, I know it, it does more than just stream it to your device, uh, but I'm saying if you're using it only for streaming to your device, you may want to switch over to iTunes Match because it is a lot cheaper. I believe Spotify is 10 bucks a month for the, the highest plan, which is uh, the best one where you can stream songs and have offline plays or something like that. So if you're using Spotify to stream it only to your device, you may want to switch over to iTunes Match because it does the same exact thing uh, at a lower price. But I but uh, Spotify does do more than just that, so you may want to stick with Spotify yet. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just want to go ahead and release this video and let you know that iTunes 10.5.1 is out along with iTunes Match. 
So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. You can go ahead and download it on the site here. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and this helps you out, go ahead and like it down below. And you can subscribe at the top to be notified when I release my new videos. Uh, and that will notify you when the new uh, iOS 5 Untethered Jailbreak is out. Uh, whenever that is released, you'll know because I will have content on that. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter to get tech updates. Uh, and that way you'll also be notified and know exactly when that is out. Uh, my Twitter username is the same as my uh, YouTube username I take every week. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video.